Hi everyone, this video is about simplifying algebraic expressions with fractions. I already have a previous video in wh where I simplify linear algebraic expressions, so if you have any questions, concerns, do check that out. Now, an algebraic expression is one which is built up from both numbers and variables. So if I have, say, 5x plus 7y, then I do have numbers here. I have the 5, I have the 7, and my variables are x and y because they can take on any value. Now, if you see something like x plus x, and you may think, well, these are just variables, then it's probably not an algebraic expression. Do understand that in front of the x, there is a 1. This is not represented, but whenever you have a variable by itself, there is a 1 attached to it. So there, it is still being built up from numbers and variables. Okay, so let's get started with algebraic expressions which have fractions in them. So if I have something like um, 3 over 4x plus negative 7 over 4x uh, plus 3. Okay, the first thing you have to do is you see two different signs here together. You have a positive and a negative. So the first thing you have to do is open brackets. So I'm just going to rewrite the 3 over 4x here. And when you have a positive and a negative, when you open that up, it becomes a negative. So if you have a positive and a positive, it gives you a positive. If you have a negative and a negative, it gives you a positive. And if you have a positive and a negative, that gives me a negative. Okay, so make sure you know this. This is essential. Okay, so after I open the brackets, the next thing I want to do is rewrite this term. 7 over 4x, and then the plus 3 stays. Now notice the next thing we have to do is we have two like terms here. Like terms are those that have the same variable attached to them. Both of them have the same variable attached, which is the x. And they also have same denominators, which makes it much easier for us to work with. So now all we have to do is 3x minus 7x, we can just write that together over 4 because the denominator is the same, plus 3. And negative 7x uh, plus 3x gives us negative 4x over 4 plus 3. The 3 remains because it is the constant in the equation. And here we have negative 4 over 4. So what happens is the 4 cancels out. 4, four times 1 gives me 4. And 4 times negative 1 gives me negative 4. So what remains is negative 1x plus 3. And if you remember what I told you in the beginning, we don't really, we don't usually represent the 1. So this just is negative x plus 3. And that would be the simplified version of this. Uh, whoops, there. So let's look at another example. What if I have something like 1 over 2x minus 5 over 6y? So the first thing is, the first thing you notice is the variables here are different. One is an x and the other is a y. So remember from the previous example, both of them were x's, which is why we were able to subtract them together. But here, one of them is an x and the other is a y. So what I have to do is I have to take things out in common. Now what I mean by that is, so let's look at just the numbers, 1 over 2 and negative 5 over 6. We can ignore the negative for a minute here. So I have 1 over 2 and 5 over 6. Now what is something I can take out in common among these two fractions? Now the lowest thing, or the smallest value that I can take out in common, is one half. Okay, so what I mean by that is, if I take out one half from both of this, if I take out one half from, uh, sorry, if I take out a half from a half, then I'm left with nothing. But what happens if I take out a half from five over six? 
Okay, so think about it. So if I take out a half, what would I have to multiply to one half to give me five over six? For the numerator to be five, I have to multiply that by five. And for the denominator to be six, I have to multiply two by three, right? So what we end up getting, so we take out the half in common. So what is left uh, of one half and one half is nothing. And all that's left from this whole term is the x minus the minus sign. The sign stays the same. Here, what I took out from 5 over 6 is the half because you're taking out the half. And what I'm left with is 5 over 3. So minus 5 over 3. And the variable also stays. Okay, so this would be the simplified expression. And you can check that by simply multiplying it again. So I just have to expand the bracket. So half times uh, x is 1 half x. And a half times negative 5 over 2 gives me negative 5 over 6y. And that is the original equation. So you, So this simplification is correct. Let's look at a final example here. If I have a value, for instance, say 1 over 4, 8b plus 24. Now again, in order to simplify this, let's take a look at just these numerical values. So I have 1 fourth and 24. Now again, you have to ask yourself, what is the smallest numerical value which I can take out from both of these in common? That value is 1 fourth, right? If I take out 1 fourth from 1 fourth, that leaves me with nothing, so we're good there. If I take out 1 fourth from 24, what am I left with? So if we go back to the previous example, You'll notice that when we're simplifying, what we are actually doing is just condensing it so that when we again open brackets by multiplying it, we get the original value. So here too, we need a value such that 1 fourth multiplied by that value will end up giving us 24. If I, now if I call that value some value z, okay? So let's take a look at this. I have I need a value such that 1 4 times that z gives me 24. In order to find z, I have to get that by itself on the same side of the, uh, on, the same, on this side of the equation. I have to get that alone. So I have to get rid of this 1 4. I can do that by multiplying both sides of the equation by 4. So I'm 4 times 1 4 is just 1. So we get rid of this. And we see that this value of z equals 24 times 4, which gives me 96. Okay, so this ends up, this value of z actually ends up being 96. And if we simplify this and take out the 1 fourth in common, I'm left with just ab here. Because 1 fourth taken out from 1 fourth leaves me with nothing. So it's just the AB plus the 96. And we can understand this because when we multiply these again and expand the brackets, I get 1 fourth AB plus 1 over 4 or quarter times 96. And when I have 96 times a quarter, this is actually just 96 over 1. So using the multiplication of fractions, this becomes 96 over 4, which is 24. Therefore, this would be correct. And hence, this is the simplified version of this. I know that this can be a little challenging. So if you have any questions, do leave them in the comments below. I hope you all understood this. Thank you.